Hello everyone. Food ME has come up with the question paper analysis of the gate food technology section during the of the past five years. One thing I would like to mention over here is that we have already solved gate 2016 to gate 2019 papers in our previous videos, for which you can find the link in the description box. I hope you find this video helpful for your upcoming gate exam. So one by one, we will keep on discussing the concepts that we have observed have been repeated in the past five years. So moving on to concept number one, it is about the enzymes and their functions in food technology. So the first question observed in gate 2015 was what is the enzyme that is responsible to hydrolyze starch to maltose for which the correct answer was alpha amylase. Moving on to the second question in 2016, a question on a similar question on enzyme was asked which was the match the following question in which the functions of the enzyme invertase, amylase, phosphatase as well as protease were asked to match with their function in column number two. Moving on to second concept is about processing of fats and oil. So let's talk about the latest question that is of gate 2019. A question was there: rice bran stabilization is important for to prevent it from the activity of which enzyme? So this question we can relate to our concept number one also, which is related to enzyme because enzyme is being asked, and to concept number two also that is because it is related to fats and oil. Moving on to second question in gate 2015, a question on Uh, oils were there that which is the oil which undergoes flavor reversion even at lower peroxide value to which the correct answer was soya bean in gate 2017 a match the following question on processing of fats and oil was there in which saponification number iodine number richard michel uh, number as well as acetyl value were asked in gate 2018 two questions related to fats were there one question was there in which various fatty acids were given and we had to pick the saturated one out of the various options and another match the following question was there which was specifically focused on refining of fats and oil in which extraction degumming neutralization as well as bleaching were asked moving on to concept number 3 basically in the food engineering section we observed that the numerical portion Uh, that has been repeated in gate 2015 a qu numerical question was there on renolds number as well as in gate 2017 also one numerical on renolds number was observed moving to concept number 4 we have lmtd that is the log mean temperature difference in gate 2015 a numerical was there on this lmtd concept and in gate 2016 a derivation kind of a thing was there for lmtd concept Moving on to the next concept is the concept of food microbiology. In the food microbiology section, in gate 2017 as well as 18, numerical on the microbial growth kinetics has been seen to be repeated. As we all know, it is an important topic. Also, microorganisms in some way or the other are seen to be uh, are seen to be important in gate exam. For example, sometimes microorganism present in curd, yogurt, cabbage, etc. can be asked. or the spoilage microorganism responsible for spoilage of certain food products such as canned products meat products etc can be asked now moving on to the sixth concept that is the rheology for uh, in gate 2017 shear stress to shear strain graphs were given and the correct graphs for dilated newtonian pseudoplastic as well as bingham materials had to be identified and in gate 2018 various statements were given and the correct statement relating to newtonian fluid had to be identified So moving on to the last concept in uh, co concept number seven in gate 2018 as well as 19 bioactive constituents match the following question was there in which certain food products were listed in one column and the bioactive constituents were listed in other column and they had to be matched for example gingerol in ginger apart from all these concepts certain other concepts also are important for example mass balance numericals moisture content on dry bases or wet bases certain coloring pigments present in the food product. etc all these also hold important value with this i hope that this analysis was able to give you a rough idea of all the important topics for gate exam at the same time it is very important to remember that all the topics hold almost equal value for the gate exam and none of uh, none of the topic is to be ignored however some extra attention can be paid to such important topics during the revision time food me team wishes you a very good luck for the upcoming gate exam please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel 